Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Book Reviews. My name is Shahida Rahman. Today's guest is Zainab Mian. She is a molecular cell biologist and she lives in London. And she's the mother of two children. Zainab published her first book in 2009 and is the author of six children's books. She launched Sweet Apple Publishers in 2014, whose ethos is to represent all minority groups. So I'd like to welcome Zainab to the studio. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Okay, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for um, having me. Can you tell me a little bit uh, about yourself and your background? Um, yeah, as you mentioned, I um, was raised in London. Um, I'm now a mother of two boys who are a great inspiration to me. Um, my degree is in molecular cell biology. Um, and uh, science is my other love, <laughs> other than publishing. Mm. Um, and I've been working on my books full time since 2014. Okay, because um, you publish six children's books, and I yeah. know that publishing and you know even writing children's books is a lot harder than writing adult books. A lot of people do say that. So yeah. I mean, you, you ha really have to get the language right. So how mm. did you? come mm. about uh, becoming an author and, and <laughs> writing six books? Yeah, I don't know if I'd say it's harder than um, writing for adults. Um, I myself couldn't write for adults, um, but I've always felt that I've had a way with children um, and, um, you know, I can connect with them and speak to them at their lev level, which is what you mentioned about the language. Mm -hmm. Language is really important in children's books. Um, and one of the reasons I started doing what I did was that I felt that all the children's books that represented children like mine, Muslim children's books, mm. um, weren't using the correct language and it was just um, too complex for children to understand. It wasn't age appropriate. I see, I see. Yeah. I mean, how long did it take you to write your first book? I mean, can you uh, tell us about your first book? Um, the first book was Adam and the Tummy Monsters and I was actually living in Pakistan at the time, in Lahore. Um, so I just wrote it and didn't do much with it until I moved back here. Um, I think I would say it, it took about a couple of days to write. Yeah, not okay. very long. <laughs> I see. And how many words would uh, a, a typical book of yours have? Um, about 600. Okay, yeah. okay. No, that, that, that's quite interesting. Yeah. And I can see you've got such uh, wonderful uh, book covers. Uh, did you illustrate them yourself? No, <laughs> I, can't, oh, okay. I can't draw at all. Um, I work with some really, really fantastic artists, um, some really fantastic freelancers. Um, I give them design briefs, um, specify what I want from them, but I also give them a lot of creative freedom. And as you can see, they do a lot of fantastic work. I think, yeah. I think it, it's really important to have a very colourful and striking book cover for a child yeah, to absolutely. go into a shop and pick it up. <laughs> yeah. So, yes. Because we do judge books by their covers. Of course, yes, <laughs> I think we all do that. Yeah. yeah, that's wonderful. And what kind of feedback have you had from the books that you've published? Oh, um, just overwhelming positive feedback. It's been really, really great. Um, people are really appreciating the diversity that I'm putting into um, the publishing industry. And um, one of the a very touching feedback that I had was from a father of an autistic child who said that um, he could never get his son into books but with my dad's beard because of the very very large um, illustrations and the very simple language um, it's a book that he really loves and connects with. That's wonderful. So I that was really nice to hear. Yeah, yeah that, that's good and you also said that ethnic minorities are underrepresented in the publishing uh, industry, particularly mainstream publishing. Yeah. So you decided to launch um, Sweet Apple Publishers in 2014. I so, did. Uh, it, was that the main reason uh, you, you did that? Yes, absolutely. There was definitely a, a dearth of um, diverse books. Um, diversity is something that's um, been, been discussed a lot over the last year, year and a half in the publishing industry now, which is really good. So I th I'm hopeful that we'll see a big change. Um, but there's, yeah, there's been a huge lack of diversity. Um, the books aren't really representing the world that we live in today. Yes, uh, I, I know that for myself. You yeah. know how hard it is, you know, yeah. uh, to get published. And mm. you ju do you just publish uh, children's books through Sweet Apple Publishers or um, other books? Yeah, just children's books so far. Um, and we're taking submissions from other other authors 
for children's books. Oh, I see. I mean, how, how many do you get uh, roughly? Submissions? Uh, we get quite a fair a lot, amount. We can't yes. always get back to people, unfortunately. Um, but we do look at all of the submissions. We do get a fair amount of submissions, okay. is, which is, is really there, great. Yeah. I mean, is there a particular story where it, it's quite striking for you, it, it really stands out, and you think, Yes, I'd like to publish that. Do you, you don't get a lot of those, do no, you? No, no, not, not so far. Um, but there is talent out there, and we'd like, to, we'd like people to keep them coming. Yeah, especially when it comes to um, authors from ethnic minority backgrounds, we'd really like to see submissions yes. from them. Yeah. I think we, we do definitely need more ethnic minority um, writers out there, mm -hmm. uh, especially they need to be published. So yeah. you know, I think that's a good initiative that, that you're carrying out at the moment. So I mean, you. do you have a favorite author? Do you do a lot of reading at all? Um, I do do a lot of reading. Um, at times I get really busy, so I've got um, a mountain on my bedside table of books that I've started and not been able to finish yet. So I do like um, to read a lot. I love Tolkien, um, Khalid Hosseini, good old Patricia Highsmith. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and you, you don't read children's books then? <laughs> I do actually, I love reading okay. children's books. Um, my son's growing out of picture books, but he still really loves them. Um, picture books are my thing. Um, I really, really admire Oliver Jeffers. That's wonderful. So when I can get my hands on one of his... Good. You know. And your children read your books, do they? Oh yeah, they love oh, they them. they do. It's really sweet when he picks one out for his bedtime story still. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. wonderful. No, that, I think yeah. that's so, so rewarding. And yeah. has, has anyone particularly inspired you that you can name? Um, well, it's all the children that I've ever encountered have inspired me. My own sons, obviously. Um, How old are they? 14 no, and 8. Mashallah. Yeah. That's good. Um, I was a teacher before, I was teaching teenage children, but um, just any, any child that's ever crossed my path, I suppose, has inspired me in, in some way. I see. Yeah. And um, when you're not writing, what do you like to do? What are your hobbies? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, I like baking a lot. I like to come up with my own um, desserts and baking, and um, I like to horse ride. Okay. Um, when I can. I've been taking lessons in horse riding, which I haven't done for a while yet and really miss. Um, just seeing friends. Wow. I love yes. yeah, meeting people. I mean, perhaps yeah. you should publish a cookery book or a book about <laughs> horse riding. Yes, even, so. yeah, I should com combine that, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's good. And, and do you have a, a, a particular advice for people who want to get published out there for potential writers? Um, I'd say that if you have writing in your heart, then just keep keep writing, um, you know, don't, don't feel that your writing isn't good enough, keep developing it and, you know, feel confident enough to submit it, get others to look at it before you do, um, just, and if, if you get rejected uh, by publishers, don't let that um, put you down or stop you. And, Yes, because I mean that's very standard yeah. to be rejected so many times it before is. you finally it get is. published. So, yeah. you know, it is hard, yeah. but it's about having thick skin yeah. and. Uh, yeah, and, because if uh, you love writing, on. then yeah. you know you should continue to do that, and right. one day there will be something that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I, I totally believe in that. Yeah. So <laughs> I can relate to that too. Yeah. So. Well, and um, do you have a website? Uh, any? Um, would you like to tell our viewers? Yes, website? it's um, sweetapplebooks.com. Okay, yep. and uh, it, it's, you've got so many different children's books on there, and I, I've had a look at that. I think it's absolutely yeah. amazing, uh, Thank some you. of the drawings as well. So, Thank you know, you, yeah. well done for uh, launching that, and I do hope it goes from strength to strength. Thank and you very uh, much. would you like to read an extract from one of, one of your books? Sure, yeah. Um, should I read from My Dad's Beard? This is one of our um, That's your first book, isn't most it? popular yeah. ones. Okay. Um, this is the first one was Adam and the Tummy okay. Monsters. Um, this is one that was released in 2014. Um, <laughs> so it's just a very simple book. I guess I'll read okay. a few of the pages that I like. So it's all about the, um, it's the child's love for his father, but he's expressed it through his beard. So it's, um, when he has a bath, it's all wet. Sometimes when he eats biscuits, a crumb or two like to sit on it. Sometimes I pretend a teeny tiny cat lives in it. I love my dad's beard because when he kisses me goodnight, I know it's him. I know my sister loves dad's beard 
because she holds on to it when she is scared. My mum says dad would not be so handsome if he didn't have a beard. My grand says now that dad has a beard, he is a real man. My dad says he has got a beard because he's copying the greatest man who ever lived. I hope I grow a beard tonight. Thank you. I think it's a wonderful <laughs> story. It really is. Thank you very much. And Thank you. Thanks for coming on today's show. Thanks very much. So I'd like to uh, end the show with a famous quote by Roald Dahl. Uh, I don't care if a reader hates one of my stories, just as long as he finishes the book. <laughs> so if you'd like to get in touch with me, please email me at bookreviews at lb24.tv. Thank you for watching. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>